Hello, my name is Michael Frank, Assistant City Manager of the City of Santa Rosa. Another question that has arisen as we go through our budget challenges is doesn't the city have uh, reserve funds, a rainy day fund, or an emergency fund that it can dip into in, or use during these difficult times? And the answer to that, um, of course, is not uh, totally simple. Uh, the answer is yes, we have a reserve fund. It's made up of 15% of our expenditures and is approximately 20 to $25 million. That being said, when we talk about a structural deficit or a budget deficit, what we're talking about is an ongoing problem. And reserves are one time in nature. So as soon as you use them, they're gone. And we have reserves for a host of reasons, not just for times like this. One reason is if there was an earthquake or a catastrophic emergency, we have those reserves available to us. Another reason is for cash flow. So Unlike most people who receive a salary on a regular basis, the city gets its revenues in uh, different segments. So property tax. Property tax arrives primarily in November and December and then April and May. So between the beginning of the fiscal year in July until we receive that first uh, property tax payment, uh, we have to float cash in order to keep our operations running during that time. Likewise, sales tax run is very cyclical in nature, and so during the holiday season, we receive much more revenue than we do some of the other times of the year. So that's another uh, way we use those reserves is to help us with our, our cash flow during the year so that we don't need to issue short-term debt to pay our bills until our revenue comes in. The third reason we have a reserves at a certain level is because of our bond ratings. The bond rating agencies, we have very high ratings in the city of Santa Rosa and a high level of credit. That allows us to issue debt when we want, when we need to for various capital projects or capital items. Bond rating agencies require a certain level of reserves in order to get a certain bond rating. And that higher bond rating allows us to issue debt at a much better interest rate than we would otherwise be able to issue it. Lastly, what I would say is we did, council has a minimum reserve policy, which is 15% of our expenditures. And for instance, we ended last fiscal year below that about five to 700,000 below that reserve policy. This fiscal year, we expect to end the year even further below. And so we need to be extremely careful about eating into our reserves because every year you do that, again, they're one-time dollars and they're gone. There's no way to replenish them unless you're using money that could be used for services. And so that's why we need to be really careful and why when council sets a minimum reserve policy target, we need to do our utmost to make sure that we don't go below that particular target. And so that we're making adjustments and reductions and generating new revenue that generates on an ongoing basis so that we can maintain that balance between revenues and expenditures. Again, additional information is located on the city's website at srcity.org. Thank you.